It's the final round of the world's leading fleet racing regatta, the 2009 Audi Med Cup, and the final chance to clinch victory. In their inaugural year on the circuit, Emirates Team New Zealand are dominating the TP52 fleet, and barring disaster, should take the series, but the battle behind them is intense. In the GP42 series, a showdown is looming between Spain and Italy. Islas Canarias, Puerto Calero and Roma are tied on points. Whoever wins the final regatta will be the winner. The deep waters and towering cliffs of Cartagena make a fitting backdrop for a dramatic finish to the 2009 Audi Med Cup, the Champions League of Sailing. Battles for the city of Cartagena have been fought for centuries because of its strategic value at the end of the Iberian Peninsula and its deep natural harbour. But a conflict of a modern kind has come to the city, the climax of the Audi Med Cup race season. Cartagena hosts the final of a five-stop tour that takes the Audi Med Cup fleet around Europe, visiting Italy, France, Portugal and Spain. In the TP52 series, Emirates Team New Zealand are leading comfortably, having won the last three regattas in succession, an unprecedented feat in the circuit's history. And whilst the Kiwis are determined to finish the season with a fourth victory, they remain wary. To us, we want to try and win the regatta and then the result of the season looks after itself. It's the uncontrollables that get us, or could get us. A broken rig, a collision, our fault or even not our fault on the start line which takes us out. And there's three boats behind us who really, on the first day, don't really see us, they see only each other. And, and that might play into our hands. If we don't tack on them, maybe they'll leave us alone as well. A three-way scrap is simmering for second to fourth places. Argentina's Matador go into the finale in second place, but can't afford to relax with the 2007 and the 2008 winners, Artemis and Quantum Racing, right behind them. I think we spent most of the season trying to, to attack Team New Zealand unsuccessfully, so our idea is try to keep our second position, but with such a challenging venue as Cartagena, you just have to go out there doing the best, best you can and trying to win the regatta, and that's the best way to defend our position right now. Every Med Cup race venue delivers unique tactical challenges, Cartagena more than most. So we took Islas Canarias Puerto Calero navigator Alicia Ajeno above the race course to find out what to expect for the week. We can see that this quite close bay is surrounded by two caves, big caves, the Cape of Tiñoso in the south and the Cape of Palos in the north. When the wind is coming from the north, northeast, from the land, the wind is very affected by these big cliffs, creating a situation with, in which the wind is very shifty and it's quite difficult to control the boats. The wind coming from the south, southwest, normally the sea breeze condition, it's not so tricky because the wind is coming from the sea, but still it creates quite a big swell. It's the typical swell from the Mediterranean, a short, steep waves which make hard to drive the boats as well. We are definitely looking forward to racing as much as possible and hopefully ending up holding the Metcap Trophy for 2009. Ajeno's prediction of light and fickle winds at the start of the week proved to be accurate. No wind and no racing meant different things to different teams. The threat of boat damage was about all that could stop the Kiwis winning, so every day lost to the weather took them a step closer to victory. It's, um, you know, every race we don't sail helps us, but you know, we'd rather go out and win on the water. It's um, sort of, uh, we've come here to try and win this event and uh, we, we do everything we can, but yeah, unfortunately the weather's not working with us. When the wind arrived, it did so with a vengeance. Nearly 30 knots and three metre seas, testing the boats and race crews to the limit. It 
turned out to be one of the toughest days sailing in Audi Med Cup history. A day in which the Kiwi Americas Cup squad were in a league of their own. Two race wins virtually sealing the series. Their closest rivals on the water were Italy's Audi Q8. Whilst it was a dark afternoon for Matador, breakages hampering the Argentinian team, dropping them from second to fourth overall on the circuit. Displaced by a powerful new combination aboard Artemis, Vasco Vascotto and Paul Kayard. The red line conditions took their toll. At times it was pure survival. It would be a day all the teams would remember. Uh, and today was really fantastic. Big waves, huge waves, I would say. Huge, huge waves and really good fun downwind. For the Kiwis, the series was in the bag mathematically, but they were refusing to celebrate, remaining focused on capturing a fourth successive regatta win. In the GP42 contest, the young crew on Islas Canarias Puerto Calero were equally at home in the strong winds and big waves. A win and a second place cementing their position as series and regatta leaders. Roma's chance to strike back came in the penultimate day's three races. The conditions playing their part once more, different in every race, but this time the Italian team were up to the task. Roma take over as regatta leaders, and Islas Canarias are in real danger of losing their grip on the series trophy. On the final day, the teams would have just one race to decide who would be crowned GP42 series champions. The Canary Islanders came out ready to fight, second at the first turning mark but Roma were right behind them. Finish like that, and Roma would hold on to their lead, but at the final turning mark, the Italians were in trouble. They'd slipped to fourth, and the winner's trophy slipped away. Islas Canarias Puerto Calero collected their third regatta win of the season, making them the inaugural holders of the GP42 Audi Med Cup. We were very happy to, to win this circuit. Uh, uh, it's our, uh, our intention to, to go to the water today and make one regatta and win. It's, it's fantastic. It's very good. It's very good for us. Para hoy para poder salir a por la victoria y así ha sido. There was drama in equal measure in the final stages of the TP52 regatta. Disaster for Great Britain's Chris de Bella, falling victim to the heavy conditions on the penultimate day, snapping the top section of their mast. Whilst Artemis tightened their grip on the third podium spot, it was a black day for Matador, plunging down the leaderboard. But for the defending champions, their aim of finishing second for the season was beginning to look a reality. The Kiwis went into the final day virtually unbeatable in the regatta as well as the series, only needing to finish in the final race to clinch the double. But the remaining podium places were far from settled. Synergy led the finale from start to finish, whilst the battle between Artemis and Matador raged right to the end, just a single point separating them in the finish. Third for the season, going to the Swedish team. But the most impressive result by far belonged to the Kiwis, clinching the Caja Mediterraneo region of Murcia trophy, an unprecedented fourth successive regatta win, and with it, the 2009 Audi Med Cup champion's crown. We came here wanting to to win and to sell probably our best event here has been really satisfying. It's just the end of a, a fantastic campaign, you know, we've really enjoyed this year's Audi Med Cup and you know, now we'll do whatever we can to try and come back uh, next year, so yeah, it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun. After a long and demanding season, it was a triumphant finale for Emirates Team New Zealand and Islas Canarias Puerto Calero in the 2009 Audi Med Cup, the Champions League of Sailing.